I'm Paul Frisch. I am the coordinator of the science and technology department at uh, Fox Lane High School and Middle School and a science teacher here for the last 20 years. The grant project is something that we called a interactive science hallway. The idea came from a number of teachers in the department, but especially Dana Luna, Amy Pirro, and Karen Lanky. Dana Luna, one of our amazing teachers within our department, uses the physical space in her classroom to really engage and excite the students into the learning process. Her interest in that sort of gave me the inspiration to wanna see if we can bring it out into the hallway. The implementation started with a conversation saying, you know, are you interested in maybe doing this on a larger scale, bringing that talent that you have out into the the common space, the common learning spaces of our C building here in science, and it just took off from there. And before we knew it, we had two, three, four, ten teachers within the department that really wanted to be a part of it. With the proposal, we had the idea of creating this sort of interactive, engaging learning space, sort of like a museum quality common space for science where students could see themselves in the hallways and engage in the learning process. So we intentionally highlighted the work of all students but also of women and scientists of color so that the students of all backgrounds could see a potential future, could see themselves in science, could see themselves in what we do in the classroom. So we put together the grant proposal, we brought it to the foundation. They were incredibly generous to talk to us about it, talk through the process with us. In fact, we met and helped us refine the idea, you know, actually gave us quite a few things to think about that ultimately became incorporated into our final design. Ultimately, when the proposal was accepted and we went ahead with the project, it began this summer. I saw firsthand what it meant for students to be in a classroom where they felt connected. But a big part of that is feeling comfortable in the space, being engaged by the space that you're in. And so when we did that and we were able to accomplish that in our hallways, we've seen a, a shift in the attitude of students as they walk through the hall, looking around, looking at the pictures, catching someone's eye and sort of walking by, stimulating a quick conversation, pointing at something that they notice. You know, the overall attitude of, of warmth and, and excitement about science and, and creativity and a belonging is what we were looking for, and I think I see it. To tap into a group of like-minded community members that were just so willing to support the work was so fulfilling and inspirational and the foundation to give us the financial ability to go ahead and do it, as well as the support and the time and the encouragement to do it, we grabbed onto it and ran. I feel and we feel inspired by a community that wants us to do great things for their children, that supports us in doing that work, and it continues as a loop that just gets bigger and better.